everybody and welcome Hello. Invisible Lady of Faith coming to you with her better half. No, her, that's the better half. And we're going to yeah. give you a few um, <clears throat> a few points of our perspective of the Sunday School lesson entitled Faith of the Persistence. Oh, Faith of the Persistence for Sunday, April the 7th, 2024. There you go. So let me ask you all this question so you can be thinking about it and you can respond in the comment section. Okay, how do our actions reveal our faith? So leave a comment and let us know what you think, okay? How do we see faith or what does faith look like to you? What does it look like to you? What does it look like to you? Yeah. Uh, to me, it looks like hope. It looks like hope? Hope, yeah. We don't know or we may not see a way out of no way. For instance, uh, like we have this bill, this unexpected bill that came in and we don't really have any uh, extra money for it. But then we have faith that uh, God will find, you know, help us find a way to get it paid. Oh, you see, there you said, you said it there. When you say God to help me find it. Well, first of all, we got to develop a relationship with God and develop trust that God will take care of it. And if you don't have trust, you, if you don't believe God is going to take care of it, then that's where your faith, you know, gets kind of weak. And you're just not trusting because my, myself personally, maybe put in a perspective, I have faith uh, in, my, in my wife because she's a good person. We've been married going on 40-something years and I trust her. Whenever she goes out, that <clears throat> she don't have a side guy or I don't have a side <laughs> chick and all that stuff on the side. So we, we're not going, we don't even think about those kind of things. So... so that's a good point yeah. that you made about trust yeah. and you have faith in the person that yeah. they will uh, do the right thing yeah. and you can depend on that person. I have faith that God will answer, but then this, these, these different lessons when it comes to faith and, <clears throat> and when Jesus says, by your faith, you're healed, or by the faith of your friends, you're healed. Guys, Wait, by your faith, you're healed? Yeah, you what know, do you mean by that? Okay, the one with the, the woman that issued blood, when she touched Jesus' hem of the garment, he says, by her faith, she was healed. Her mm -hmm. faith. Right, right. Yeah, she okay. she felt that that was going to heal her, and she trusted that what she did was going to work, and it did. Mm -hmm. okay. And it's, it's the same way we got to get into the lesson. So too. our faith plays a big <coughs> part in, um, how should I say this, in Apple of you, lives, yeah. of you that mm -hmm. you, I trust you because you have 40-something years of a track record of mm -hmm. consistently doing the right thing mm -hmm. as you're, in, in this, you're, you're part of this marriage. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and that's by us getting to know each other. Right, right, which is an ongoing process. <laughs> yep, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, so in the lesson, Faith of the Persistent, we found that it talked about this paralyzed man, and this paralyzed man, from my understanding, wanted to see Jesus because he had faith that he would be healed if he got a chance to get close enough to Jesus <laughs> and to be healed. He had that, but the, the, the faith was more in this lesson in that the faith was his four friends. They, they, they wanted to get him near Jesus because, you know, that's, here's that whole thing I tried to find out. You know, they said, let it down through a roof. Hold on, my house. Talking about they wanted to see Jesus. and We're going to have a problem because when it rains, it's going to rain in my house. That's a problem. Yeah, but I think yeah. in this story, the, not just the four men that brought him, you know, put him through the roof. They had tried... To, to I guess break through the break through the crowd to see Jesus to yep. pray for him, but they couldn't get close enough. Yeah, I, I, I get that point, but still, you don't have the permission to cut a hole in my roof. Okay, I don't know. Maybe they knew the homeowner. <laughs> but, I don't know. <laughs> but it is one thing. Is my thought is it's not a matter. I'm trying to home in on that saying. Oh wow, because that's that's what diversions of right. of what's really going on. Right. Because at that time, I could also spin it this way too. They had so much respect because once they finished the. The uh, you know letting him down he got healed. Uh, I'm going to make this. I'm going to make this something. It didn't say in the story. I'm pretty sure they put things back the way they got it, and probably gave him a better you know you know strength in the roof and everything. Yes, good point. Too. Another point I want to bring up is like you said, the four men had faith. Yes, but I think the paralyzed man had faith too because he knew that he was going to see Jesus. Yeah, but he just felt that he wanted to be close close enough to get his prayer of healing answered. Yeah, but see, the reason why I said that, because I read that further down, <clears throat> Jesus addressed the faith of his friends. Oh, okay, there. okay. And so it's, uh, you know, I, I like what you're saying, because it had all five men 
had to have faith that this is going to happen. Because right, right. I'm not going. Why right. are you taking me there? Okay. And, and if he didn't have any faith, somebody he had to have some faith to go along for that ride. But say, well, he didn't have any trust in the matter. He was paralyzed. Oh, come on. Yeah. But the point is, to stay with the subject, faith of the, faith of the persistent, right. faith and being persistent at things. And we don't know how long he had been trying to seek Jesus. Yep. And to find Jesus yep. and to pray. Mm -hmm. But I do have a question about that What's situation. That? Is He felt that he needed to see Jesus face to face to get his healing. Mm -hmm. But I was just thinking, how come he couldn't just pray where he was for his healing? See, that was my thought. I thought about that. Oh, you know, when things. I was reading that. Yeah, and it's true too. At this time, this is building all the stories and everything for the Bible for us to read to, today. So these things had to be put in place. So there is stories and ways of trying to communicate to us the, mm -hmm. what we need to do. Because like mm -hmm. now today, I can you know there's a friend of mine. He used to live next door, and I believe his name is Reggie. It's been a while, but he. He had the faith and he had the desire to play basketball. So while everybody else was going to football games and trying to do something there in the basketball season, because he was turned down every time. He could not play at the high school. But he got his skills up and he had the faith that, you know, by him putting the work in that he was going to be able to play basketball. And he did. He went to junior college and became an All-American there because mm -hmm. he put the work in. Faith without work is what? Dad, yeah. I was just thinking about something that I struggle with in faith and that is uh as a believer sometimes i doubt my faith meaning that i get impatient and i lose <clears> hope <throat> when things don't turn out the way that i think they should turn out but y'all may not know but i struggle with uh having friends and making friends and it's been a long 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 time so i have faith and i trying to be persistent that that will change we will change. that will change you, you know. that you need to look at where you came from look at the version of linda back in 1976 77 mm -hmm. yes, 78 yes, and look at the yes, linda that's yes, now yes. you got you got yes. a total different version look at the work you have put in yeah. faith without work then if yeah. that's the case then you should have got a divorce you should have yeah. just went and sat on yeah. the sideline and yeah. did nothing yeah. but you had the faith that the marriage is going to work and as a matter of fact i'm gonna quote you you wanted your children to have a father that you didn't have. Exactly. So right, right. you stuck with the work. Right. So did you get what you were looking for there? Yes, I did. Okay, so everything takes time because yeah. people won't. That's the part that people miss. It takes time. The woman that issued blood was having, you know, health issues there. It took her 12 years to get to her healing. Mm -hmm. So she trusts God for 12 years. Yes answered our prayer like that we wouldn't put the work in put the work in yeah we have to put That's the work good, in very good. right right we have to put the work in put the work in we gotta put the work in yes yeah. we just can't <clears throat> think it's gonna fall from the sky Without you know the work in. we have to put the work in so how in the world reggie was gonna be a great basketball player right. and then then put the work in right that's true and how were you going to get your wish if you didn't stay in a marriage and making sure because you could have jumped out and then you'd have the same thing you, your your daughter's had i mean your daughter and your son no no father you been out there? My daughter, you mean my sister? Your daughter. My daughter. No. Okay. What do you your mean? daughters. Yes. If you had jumped out of the marriage and we had went our separate ways, oh, now I they, they would have been in the same predicament that you were in. But yeah, you, but we know who the father is, so I think even that no, that had to happen, you would have still been in their so, lives. So are you saying it's okay? Just as long as no, you know I'm not it. saying it's okay, but I'm. But you just, wanted to have a father in their lives, right? Exactly. Okay, yeah, so. Yeah. I thought by and I felt the same way. I want to be in my children's life. Right, right. That's good. Okay. Yeah. But That's if good. you had to jump out, I'm not gonna make you stay. Right. Okay. 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 I think that's one of the um main um points that we can get from this lesson about having faith and being persistent and putting the work in and just being yeah, being consistent and persistent about doing what we need to do to get those uh desired results and to have faith that God will help us get that work done or get that goal accomplished. I'm glad you shared that, you know, how you felt about your faith. I'm sure other people feel the same way mm -hmm. in the politi politics of the land and all the other crazy mm -hmm. stuff that's going mm -hmm. on. Right. You're wondering why. Right. Okay, see, we, we can't have our faith in our politicians, faith in our leaders. Right. We have the faith in Jesus Christ. Not even yeah. pastors or ministers. Yeah, we can't they, have a faith in... I mean, 
the internet is yeah. just ripping the pastors and all the just ripping them all kinds of ways and not looking good in some sense but you know we as as leaders we have to take the good with the bad mm -hmm. and we have to persist and keep going so I mean people can say whatever they want to mm -hmm. say about mm -hmm. you yeah. but it, but the thing is God's going to judge us by our intention every step in our decisions that we make mm -hmm. not what somebody else is saying so, all kinds of stuff is coming out of people's mouths but the thing is, we have to stay fast and have our faith and trust God that we're going to get through these things. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, we can sit here and talk about politics, but it ain't going to help nothing. No, what it is, we need to be accountable for ourselves. We have to be accountable for our intentional wrongdoings <laughs> yep. and our deceitful ways. We yep. have to be accountable for that. Yeah. And, and, and you know, also... Go ahead. Okay. Also, when we um, pray for forgiveness... Mm -hmm. We have the ability to forgive also. We don't want to hold grudges nope. or do revengeful things. Like It's like we believe when we pray and ask for forgiveness that God forgives us. We need to forgive those that we feel have you know done something to us. We yep. need to forgive that. Forgive and, them. Well, and, you know, the, the, the Joe Snake thing. You know, you don't bring the snake oh, in the yeah. house and yeah. throw out a snake out. Yeah. Be wise about what you're doing. Right. I'm not saying be one of these good and teach great. Oh, we're just going to do everything they tell us to do. Uh-huh. You know, if, if somebody tells me that I need to do such and such, such and such because I'm the governor, or I'm the president, or something like that, I say, well, is it a law? Okay, well, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do me. You go do you. Right. Okay, so I wanna. <laughs> are you? No, go ahead. Finish? Okay, I wanna leave you guys with this thought, and it's all. It's like the um, the core idea of being a Christian or a believer that our faith in Jesus can provide us with lasting peace. Thanks for watching.